Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Space Engineers. You're here with me, Merlibus, and Captain Jaws. Hello, Jaws. He already are. And today we have a new update. We probably won't get into it, but we'll we might talk about it. So there's a new merge block. You can convert station to station, and if you hit escape key, it actually shows you the update, which is kind of cool. Yep. Oh, colored cockpit. That's kind of neat. Still no reflective glass in the cockpit. Damn. Yeah, that's a bummer. And then did some more multiplayer code refining. So yeah, the big one is, I guess, the merge block and the convert to ship block, or option, right? We could theoretically yeah. convert our station into a large ship and fly away. <laughs> Though it would explode so violently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, it has other <laughs> <we> uses. <laughs> but today we're not going to really uh, dive into any of that new stuff. We want to get some more infrastructure into our station so we don't really have a good storage area yet. We have these storage containers over here for the grinders, but they weren't really meant to be our storage area. More so just a temporary storage for those parts. And then we would move yeah. them into the main station. So that's what we want to work on today. We've picked out a location for our storage area. And it's right where you see all these blocks. Right up here. So we kind of talked about it a bit before the episode, yeah. just planning some stuff out, and I think we're ready to go ahead. We don't have too much time today, so you guys are just stuck with us while we build for a little while. Hopefully that's okay. Yes. And Hello. speaking about not having much time, that is the reason as for uh, why we were unable to unload uh, Thursday's episode. Yeah. It was simply that uh, the time zones, once again, uh, we have very different time zones and we simply couldn't uh, find a good time uh, to record uh, Thursday's episode. Yeah. Either one of us can make it and the other one can't, or vice versa. There's just no... There's very limited time when there's an overlap of kind of free time. When yeah. it's early morning for me right now, it's evening for jars. It's evening for jars, it's, yeah. So, it's a little difficult, but we try our best, and most of the time we can manage. But these episodes do, we're starting to take a lot longer, too, because we're trying to do more in them. So that requires yes. even more time. So we might have to change up the format a bit, so there may be some changes coming in the future. But hopefully you'll still enjoy the content, nonetheless. We shall continue producing content forever. Yes. <laughs> Till we're <laughs> out of ideas. Cool. All right. So what do we do? We made a wall. Woohoo! What a beautiful. We made wall. a wall. So do we actually continue all the way over here? Hmm. We could do. I don't know. So we want. How do we want to transition up? With some more stairs, stair ramps. So what does the ramp take? Interior plates. That's nice because I do actually have interior plates. Oh, good. As do I. So where should we put it? We have this glass tube going down the middle. Our typical walkway and we do want to make use of that still but it does it can end at some point too that could work what if we do this this and have the stairs up here we could also move it back uh, one oh, block yeah. so that so it's recessed uh yeah maybe that way if you're coming up the left side of the stairs you don't have to back up yeah. And this gravity generator will it's likely going to get moved, so it's it's okay if it's in the way. Uh, but I guess it actually could stay if we <laughs> wall it in, like... Yeah, it looks like it could. Even if we put another ramp there, if we wanted. But we have... Oh. Yeah, even if we put in... No, that's good. Ramps. Yeah, I like that. But I like this uh, idea right here, because... Mm. Okay, it gives us the the ledge up here, so the reason we are putting a wall slash ledge, whatever you want to call it, up here, is so that we have a really nice place to look uh, over the uh, showcase area. Yeah, uh, nice balcony. As well, giving us room for the storage area in the back here. Cool. I have an idea, Jars. What do you think? Like, we got this glass thing that's going this way, right? And we're going to have something in it that we know what's going to be in it. And they probably do, know. too. What if we continue that up <laughs> the um, up here and maybe move the ramp over a bit more to the right so this glass would come here 
and it would go up and it would continue up oh. here on the platform and then it could turn towards the storage unit for no apparent reason for no, no apparent reason <laughs> 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 As if they can't yes. figure it out. I've been like hovering conveyor blocks in front of my face. Oh, I can't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. <laughs> so we could do that. And then, yeah, we'd have a three section. And we'd have to move the stairs over a bit more. But that could work. You like that? I and do with, like that. That seems very cool. So up with, with the curved okay. conveyors, it works pretty nice too, compared to what we had to do last time. The question is, where are these block? They are like that, so they can be right there. Now, can we actually place the glass in a way that will actually allow us? Because if we oh. place a glass Good point. Uh, block right uh, in this position, we can't right. place glass on both sides here. Mm-hmm. What could we do about that? We need more glass blocks. We need a <laughs> corner. <laughs> Inverted uh, corner. Ooh, uh, we could we could make it a ramp. Um, is there is there a block that goes that way? Window one you slope. Huh? Yeah, kind of like that, but with the glass, and we could put those oh, slopes on the, the sides. Yeah, uh, uh, they can see it on my screen. I don't have a block to place it, but if you take the one by one slope, one by one slope, and that's basically yeah. And then we put the corners on those on the sides. So it's yeah, closed off. yeah. Either, oops. Oh, the glass or the light is in the way. Yeah, that'll work, I guess. <laughs> yeah, like that sort of deal. Uh, yeah, we could also put the glass sides in if we want to. Oh, okay, I see. Uh, but yeah, we could yeah, see. I don't think it... We could see what looks yeah. what looks good. What looks best? Cool. Okay, so that works. It's all coming together. It's all coming together. The thoughts of ideas are combining. <laughs> combining too much. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll stop that there, but the conveyors. Okay, well, maybe I'll keep them going, because yeah. we do want them to go into the storage. So I'll get rid of these. Continue, though we will see the glass. Mm-hmm. So storage. Or the grab gen, the grab gen. Oh, right. Below there. Okay, so we might have to move it after all. I, it doesn't really hurt to see it. Per se, it might actually be a little bit. Oh yeah, cool it's like a little to something. See some stuff below. Yeah. yeah, I'd agree with that. Where should our center line be for our storage? Should we make it this yellow stripe, or do we want to move it over a bit to the left, or do we have uh, to? I guess we have to because the stairs mm -hmm. are pretty much still there. Just What's about. This? Oh, uh, that that's there. Yeah, the, I think the yellow strip is right here. So, be... so we probably want the entrance into the storage room Definitely. somewhere over here, where we yeah, stopped. Yeah, somewhere over here. What do you would say if we continue building out the platform a bit? So we have a continued wall right here. So we have the uh, outer wall here. Yeah. We could, of course, expand it out if we need to. Right. But that's pretty good. Yeah, we just have those. So we'll probably end up closing in the refinery here. So yeah, I think some of you wanted us to kind of finish this top floor off and we will get to it, but we kind of have to do it in parts. So like we, we knew we wanted to put a storage room somewhere. We weren't quite sure where yet, but I think once it's in place, yeah, that looks good. Once it's here, I think that'll probably be the whole upper area. And then we can look at kind of enclosing this whole thing in. And then, yeah, I don't think we'll have, we'll see. I don't know if we'll have any more stuff up here but we could have some more stuff underground still. But we can make the top look kind of finished. Okay, I'm so you got one unit there. Okay, so that would be the center. How much space do you think we should have between? If we have none, uh, they will be automatically connected to each other uh, via a conveyor system. Right. And we will still be able to access them. So we could just have a one, just one wall of them then. 
on one side. So we could do, yeah, exactly. Just have one wall, and we can see at the back side. Oh, now I can't reach, of course. If I do this, can we have? If we have one here. Oh, I could see. Oh, okay. wrap them around. On the back, we could do that, or as you say, have rows of them. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. We could do either way. I was thinking if we had just um kind of stacked on top of each other. Um. Oh, on top of each other. As well, and then we could have like catwalks, maybe, to get to the upper areas. Quite a similar layout to that yellow ship we grinded, if you remember what that looked like. Oh, When we were inside, it had that kind of catwalk feel with storage units around, and there was an upper level and a lower floor. So we could kind of have a similar thing going here. You walk in here, there's storage units on either side of you, but then you can also go up top and there'll be more storage units, and we could make make a catwalk and stuff, but as Jars pointed out, we don't really need to get access to these too much. I mean, we can you can get into any inventory from any other inventory connected to the same um, conveyor system anyway and move items around that way. But sometimes it is nice to just physically look into a container instead of scrolling yeah. through menus and yeah, trying to find that specific storage. So I don't know. So we could do this and uh, we could also do this and then have a third row. Okay. We here, I think. That leave us one. It's tight. It's claustrophobic. But, <laughs> it's, but it's okay. Yeah, this might be way too claustrophobic. Ooh, what if we do it like that? Um, like have it open. So keep that one where you have it, and this continue one? back. Oh, yeah, I'll get out of uh, here. I'll get out of the way. And, and then we could turn, like you were turning as well. So instead, we just have a U shape of storage. Would that work? Are these positioned? Oh, not quite. Not quite. We could so move one of the rows in one block. Yeah, or out one block. Or out one block. I'd say out. And then it's like a perfect, like a basically a three, and then two. Is it? So uh, three deep, we... and we could go four deep if we wanted. We could go four deep, yeah. So four. I mean, we could even do this, and we just have one that we can't directly access. And they should connect up. So then we just have a U of storage. And then we could go two high, or even three high if we wanted, and that would be <laughs> a lot of storage. The question is, can we... Do I not have... Why can I not place you there? Because that's why. We can only place blocks on the inventory sides, or on the inventory openings. Can you place three like this, or no? They will be hidden. Oh, I see, and still be able to access. Yeah. But you couldn't. We would have to move it out one more block to do that. I see, and then we just need to add a little conveyor. Yeah, but I don't think we want to move out more because we are kind of uh, on the uh, the stairs here. We're getting yep. really close to the stairs. Okay. So what about just this then? I mean, we could get rid of the corner ones and just replace them with conveyors if we wanted. If we want, since we can't directly access them. But And then we could just have a catwalk. You could walk on the ground in the lower part. And a catwalk on the upper part. Yeah, and this is a lot of storage. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have to go capture 20 ships. Yeah. We could also not have the corner ones that we can't physically access and just put uh, conveyors between. Yeah, okay. I'm okay with that. Yeah, and then we can actually build the outside wall, have a corner on the outside wall here. A corner on the outside uh, wall. I'm trying uh, oh, place gonna, blocks to round somewhere. it a bit. Yeah, we could round it. 
Not like that. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. This is what I meant to do. Okay, yeah. We can totally kind of add a little bit more detail to the outside. Yeah. So it's not just a box. <laughs> yeah. At least some detail. Yeah. Well, good. And then we'll try to merge that down to the asteroid so it looks like it's just jetting straight up. Hey, look, gold. Gold! Indeed. Gold! I love gold. I'm going to go out on a limb and say we don't have enough stuff in Score Rabbit <laughs> to do this. <laughs> Are you sure? Are I'm you gonna... really, really, really sure? <laughs> I probably don't even have enough to do one. No, I don't even know what... Oh, I don't think we have any displays, actually. We don't have any interior plates. We had displays, but I oh. am low on energy. Wow, I'm welding interior without plate. making noise. Oh no, it's just not welding. <laughs> Never mind. Wait. You want to recharge and scrap it? Uh, Did you already take off? No, I'm here. All right. So, <laughs> so what do we need for these things? Interior, interior plate. plates. Oh, while you're recharging, I guess. Do you want to just fly it over to our grinders? And we'll stock yeah. up on some stuff. Um, and... Do we have time? Do we have time? To cut. We have some time. <laughs> I think we have time to cut. Alright, so we will load up Scrabbit and maybe do some, some weldy weldy stuff and bring you back. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, we finished welding up the containers. This is very easy with Scarabbit. Fantastic. All right, so now we're doing some more planning. So we thought we'd bring you back. Uh, we've got our conveyor line going up here. And we were talking about how to connect it to the containers, and we decided to do it this way. So it just goes all the way around the corner. I think that looks good, Jarvis. It was a good decision. Yes, indeed. And then we put up this wall. Because we don't want to see our storage room. It's ugly. No, it's actually no, beautiful. No. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, but it's a storage room. Yeah. So we're adding in doors. So Jaws suggested the the man doors that we have. We have one, I think. Is that all we have so far? <laughs> the man doors. Yeah, I think we have one <laughs> that is completely useless to the balcony. <laughs> the <Yeah>. balcony. <laughs> the balcony. Oh, God. Perfect Strangers. It just reminded me of a show called Perfect Strangers. As a character called Balky. <laughs> Balky. Anyway, off topic, way off topic. If anybody knows that show, <laughs> kudos to you. So we, yeah, we've been messing with the interior wall, which we've never really used. Do we want to make it go like a U? Like we could just have it single path and have it go all the way down and wrap around and then connect back to the other door so it looks like it's a, a U-shaped door or a U-shaped path? Like a, yeah, like a walkway kind of? Yeah. So kind of like okay, I was thinking to have um, one or two layers of armor blocks on the very outer edge here and then have the entire inside floor being interior walls. Sure. We could just paint it um, different. So we could paint a little U-shape and still have... Yeah, okay. Or we um, could... I think actually it would be better to have what you said. We could see. Have the uh, walkway. Well, why don't we do uh, a little... Um, 
We could have a sample. I gotta get a drill, because we gotta get rid of some asteroid. Oh look, the door maker. Is this a good idea or a bad idea? I am not sure. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to find out. Oh wait, oh! Scrap it, get out of my way. I didn't even see that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I like flew directly at it and I didn't see it. That's incredible. It's the. It's the <laughs> at least I bumped the landing legs. Okay, how it's gonna the flaw of the ship. You don't know where you're going. <laughs> it's great for making holes. I'm trying to but orientate not myself. When you know exactly where you want the hole. Mm. Oh. I want the hole somewhere there. Then like. it makes a perfect hole, but if I want a hole right there. Then you're screwed. <laughs> Which is kind of what we want. Okay, I can't even tell how close I am. Oh, I don't uh, even have... You're not very close. Maybe we should do this by hand. Maybe. I'm not very... Hang on. I'm gonna do it. Are you ready? Oh god. Oh god. Bad stuff's oh, gonna happen. Wait, I don't I know, on my screen you're not even touching the asteroid. Oh really? Damn. Do I have to go forward? Down? No, 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 go, you have to go, that was a perfect height actually, but you're not touching. It's still drilling, but you're oh, not I touching see. the asteroid. Oh, I see, just visually it's not actually doing anything. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so just keep going. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I wanted to go up, not forward. Ah. Uh, I think this can is probably good enough. Okay. And we can trim out the corners uh, or the edges. We can trim trim out by hand. All right. I will leave door maker up here. <laughs> you take damage getting out of yours, or if I think as I might have been moving still. So the dampeners turned on the thrusters, which burned my face as I exited the cockpit. It's a dangerous ship. <laughs> it's, it's beautiful. Oh, doggy's noise. I'm running out of Doggy time. Noise. Doggy's getting now restless. I can totally hurt it. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's two of them now, which is just compounding the problem. <laughs> All right. Oh, we also removed a couple of our storage units. So we had 20 to begin with. We're down to 18. No, 16? <laughs> We've got rid of four. Oh, yeah, 16. <laughs> so we got rid of four. That we got rid of four because it was a little too close to the stairwell. And if we wanted to have a bit more room to work some stuff in. We we're also going to put a, a stairwell or something up, I think. We can see to get to the next level. We can think about that after. Yeah. We can get think the, another get time. <laughs> get the floor done first. This is not the time for thinking. <laughs> no time. Okay, so you place. I'll grab Scrabbit and try to finish those. So, yes, yeah, what is that new block? Okay, so while we're doing this, we can talk about the update. So, one of the big things was the merge block, which is pretty cool. It can actually do what uh, we yes. were showing in the, app, the other episode where Jars was taking off one of the the tools for this guy and replacing it yeah. with like a grinder so we could theoretically do that with the merge blocks now and give this guy interchangeable hands maybe set up a a station where he could just you can quickly and easily change parts but another cool yeah, feature is true. if you bisect a ship in half like we did with our our ship eater you can put them back together again like Humpty Dumpty yes so that's always nice. So yeah, it's huge. Especially, I mean, it wasn't a big deal for us, but if you were building a huge ship that took you hours upon hours upon hours, and then an asteroid hit it, or a meteor hit it, and bisected it in half, and you had basically no way of repairing it, you'd have to build the other half of the ship again. Yeah. I guess you could end up with two ships that way. <laughs> They've reproduced, just like cells. Bacteria. <laughs> they divided. <laughs> It's a, uh, huh. it's a new copy paste feature. Anyway, I'm rambling a lot, but yeah. Oh, I like that f the interior block though. That's still, still. <laughs> oh, sorry, need parts. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to <laughs> to grab that. Every time I almost had it, you moved. 
<laughs> it's like I was watching, but I wasn't. Cool. I didn't like that. I can't, I can't weld this block at all. Weird. <laughs> With new multiplayer code comes new quirks, probably. I am hosting today. I don't usually host, but I figured it was my turn. It's my turn to shine. But no, Jars' computer and internet was more, has up? been more suited for hosting. I don't know. It has. Okay. What is um, going on? I can't, I can't do anything. <laughs> is it doing a phantom weld? I don't know. I've had it's it when welding, I was It's welding, but nothing is happening. Okay. I've had the opposite happen where my torch isn't lit up, but it is actually doing work. I just do, what is going on? <laughs> it's madness. He's got the space madness again, guys. We're going to have to put him down. Space scurvy. <laughs> Eat an orange. <laughs> Should we weld up a bit more and then we'll just do a final farewell? I think that is what we'll do. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Watch out. Oops, I smash into things. Peripherals. Oh, hello, storage container. How dare you I'll sneak up on you. me like that? I think you. I think he needs repairs. <laughs> it's fine. It's and I can't fine. do it. <laughs> Whoa, no, no, I died. Aw, I'm sorry. And 58, 58, 25, minus 29. Beautiful. And welcome back. I did not mean to take a screenshot, but I did so anyway. Yeah. I can take a screenshot here. That is what you will see before you start watching the video. It's called a thumbnail. 
<laughs> so we did do some work, uh, a little bit of work. It's not completely finished, but more of this, you added some designlish stuff here that looks cool. Yeah, so the wall was a little flat, so I just threw those on. We'll work with it, but um, I think we can tie it into the overall structure of this area, which I think is what we're going to hopefully do in the future, is try to enclose this whole area now and get a ceiling and roof and all that, but yeah. Try to finish off the base, give it the finished look. Yeah. All right, Giles. be nice. Shh. Do we go inside? Give me a tour. Woohoo! <laughs> I'll give you a tour. <laughs> <laughs> so you go to the door, and you open it, and you go through the door. Oh! You have to say, wow. This is impressive. Not really, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So and that's then the you're start. in the storage room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good tour. There is storage inside the uh, big boxes you can see here. Oh, that's how it works. I yes. see. So there this is, one's for underwear. A... This one's for yes. socks. Yes. That one I can't And these say. two are for pants because we have a lot of <laughs> pants. Sure. Yes. We have two. And then the rest of them are for the clothes. Beautiful. <laughs> Excellent. So that's a, basically a... We store them in Ikea boxes. <laughs> a giant walk-in closet is what we've created here, guys. <laughs> Whoa, you just flew straight through the wall. Oh, wow. I think Jars is... He's got some T-Sync issues, so... Maybe I shouldn't host. I'm sorry. Uh, I think there is something odd with the multiplayer. I People were saying that strange stuff was happening. Ah, could be it. They do keep tweaking it, so stuff will change. Hopefully they get it all smoothed out. So I guess that's it for today, is it, Jaws? We did our storage. Uh, we'll have to make it functional. It. I guess it's not really functional yet. It's not connected up. Not the conveyor line connected. stops yes. here. So we could work on that maybe in another episode as well. Get that all hooked up. And we could transfer all those items from the grinding area over to here. So I think that's about it. Wee! Goodbye! Bye-bye. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Flare.